Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my new Bratz dolls that I got in my recent eBay Bratz doll haul. And these are the Bratz babies of Nita and Nora, who I love. And I say that they're so cute and that I love them like 20,000 times in this video, but it's because I do. Um, here's what they look like. Here is Nita, she's adorable, she's really pretty in person, even prettier than I hoped. And then here is Nora, who is just absolutely angelic and stunning. Uh, these are from the Bratz um, Babies line. I think the movie is when they came out, like this is, they were, came, they came out for like Bratz the movie. Um, and I'm so excited to have them both in my collection. I did clean them up a little bit when I received them, they were like a little bit dirty and stuff, not like really, Poor condition or anything but I did clean them up a little bit however I left um, their hair intact so their hair is still in their like factory hair position that came in um one day I might feel like taking it out but um it still feels pretty nice so I'm gonna leave it in like how it is for now um but yeah this is what the two of them look like I'm really stoked to get them in my collection if you were looking to get these dolls they obviously no longer make these this is like from like 2004 or 5 so um you can find these on eBay or you can find them on like places you can get secondhand things so like you might get really lucky and find them at a thrift store near you or you could find them on Gumtree or Facebook marketplace or something like that because they're secondhand you really got to like wait for them to become available because um you know you got to wait for someone to like be ready to let go of theirs and put them up somewhere for sale um I was really lucky to find these guys on eBay for a really good price point I had hunted for these guys for ages and they were always like kind of expensive and uh, finally I got them for a price that I was happy with I was so stoked to get them they're definitely some of my grail dolls and I'd wanted these for ages um, and so I'm so grateful to have them in my collection now. So if you'd like to see some close-ups and like kind of a review of the dolls, then please keep on watching. So here is Nita and Nora, which is interesting because I feel like Nora, she should be called Nora and she should be called Nita instead, but it is the other way around. This is Nita and this is Nora. Anyway, um, and here they are nude. Um, I'll talk you through their hair first and then we'll work our way to the accessories after, but that's what their accessories look like laid out like that. Um, and also shout out to my little um, love note Tokidoki guy there. Hey, um, he's really cute. I'll just move him over. So this is Nita. She has um, red lipstick. She has, um, like her sister, purple and pink eyes. She's wearing purple eyeshadow um, and she has a beauty mark just above her lips there. Um, and she has a side kind of parting in her bangs and they go into a high ponytail and her ponytail is wrapped in like hair as well at the like part where it comes out and it's really beautiful. It's kind of like black hair with light brown streaks and looks really pretty. And she's also wearing, um, what's it called? Like silver stud earrings with like red, um, little diamondy bits in them, like red details. And then her sister is wearing, um, also a high ponytail, but she kind of has like a more, um, thinly rooted parting, if that makes sense. Like look how thickly rooted her parting is compared to her sister's. But maybe, um, that's just the way my doll's hair was styled or maybe like she was rooted more thinly. I'm not sure. Uh, they both have the like factory, um, elastic bands on them still to like do their hair like this. So it just looks like, well, I'll show you underneath. Underneath it just looks like that. And then it goes up into the ponytail, if that makes sense. So it's tied at the back and um, just at the ears to keep this factory hairstyle in place. I don't know if I'll ever take that out of the factory style, but um, I think it looks cute in the high pony anyway. Um, also um, with this doll, I'm trying to like make her stand, but I'm not doing a good job. Um, she can stand. I just like haven't propped her up properly. Um, she has different lengths in her ponytail and I'm not sure if her hair was cut or if it's just the way it was styled from the factory. Um, like maybe it was because this is the piece that's wrapped around. So it's length is shorter. I'm not really sure. Um, but I still think it looks really cute. Um, regardless, I do think it is probably because that's the part that's wrapped around the ponytail, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, but yeah, Nora is wearing pink lipstick and it's kind of got a bit of a shimmer to it. She has like an open mouth, so you can kind of see her teeth there. She has like her sister, pink and purple eyes, but she's looking a different direction. Her sister Nora, um, 
Nora is looking this way. Nita is looking this way, if that makes sense. Um, and then she has pink and purple eyes with pink eyeshadow. And I like how their eyes are pink and purple. One of them has pink eyeshadow. One of them has the purple. I think that's really cute. Um, she has a beauty mark on her cheek here. And it's very similar to Yasmin's. They pretty much have the same beauty mark, which is cute. I'll leave Yasmin over there because I'll do a comparison in a bit. Um, and then she has like silver earrings with pink details on the inside. Um, and yeah, they're both wearing those like little pink underwear. It's like the... Um, white kind of underwear or like light pink with the pink stripe and they both have like the little detail on the back like they're painted all the way around obviously so that's what they look like on the back um and yeah they're also both wearing nail polish on their fingers and toes so obviously Nita is wearing red nail polish that matches her red lipstick and Nora is wearing light pink baby pink nail polish that matches her lipstick as well so they have that on their fingers and toes let's go into the accessories so my camera is so shaky I don't really have a way that I can like prop this up overhead um to have it easily done so this is Nita's bag it is black it has a like stitch pattern all over it and it has um, red ribbon handles and there's a black cat on it which reminds me of Emily the Strange. It also has this like stitch up detail on the side and it has the same pattern mirrored on the back. It is a functional bag like you can open it um, and it hasn't got velcro it just like opens like that. They both of course come with their baby bottle which they can wear as a lanyard around their body or you can have this as like a little key ring for yourself. So they both come with um, one of those each and then I'll show you um Nora's bag so it's like a little kind of like cow print bag it's really cute and like really trendy right now even it has a little like light pastel pink skull and crossbones on it with little white details so it has a white detail for the cross for the eyes and on the ends of the bones there um it is plain on the back so it just has the same print on the back with no skull or anything these handles are like really interesting they're kind of just like plastic with the illusion that they're beaded but they're just like solid plastic that's kind of a little bit squishy um there's little um ring metal hoops um to attach the plastic to the bag and then um the bag it can open it's tied shut with a little um pink ribbon so it can open and it's pink on the inside of the bag but it, um you can open and close it with that little ribbon that i've tied um into a bow so yeah that's what their bags look like and i like how they both have that like string detail with hers being the bow to open it and hers being like stitched up on the side um i do wish that their bags matched a little better but they're both still cute um, what I really love is their outfits they definitely match so Nita's is like a little um, black tank top with red details for like the straps um, it's like kind of like that elastic -y Bratz baby material and then I don't know if it's going to focus but there's a little uh, like love heart that's like broken hearted with a little arrow through it. it's just so cute and then Nora's is literally the same but in pink so hers is black with um, pink details and then it has um, the cutest little heart with wings it's so cute and like the two of them together are so cute also if you can see at the top I think it's the top right hand for you guys top right hand corner both of the hearts have a little like shine detail on the um design I just think these are such cute tops and then both of their bottoms are the same as well just in their different colors so Nita's is red um underwear kind of thing with the black elastic details and then it's like a red tool like tutu skirt around it um, with a black bow detail and a tied ribbon like at the front and then this is Nora's which is exactly the same but baby pink so it's a baby pink little pair of underwear underneath there and they both obviously velcro all of these pieces velcro at the back um, and then it has like black details around the leg holes and then on the top it's like a little pink tutu and then it ties up with this like a black waist detail ribbon that goes all the way around into a bow at the front so they're such cute outfits i'm obsessed with their outfits i think they're really cute and they match the um normal hair flare doll outfits which is so cute to me because these are from perhaps the movie so um i think it's really cute they matched it and i just think they're like all looking like they're from the same line even though these aren't from the hair flare line they're like an extension of the hair flare line so i like that they all have that like hair flare outfit and hair flare hairstyle i think it's so cute anyway I'll dress them up now and show you what they look like in their clothes. Here they are both dressed up with their bags. I think they look so cute together. I just think they have the best outfits, um, the way they like match together. And they're definitely some of my favorite twins ever. Probably my favorite hair flare kind of style twins. Um, and I love how they are like matching with Yasmin here. I feel like they all look like they're from the same line and have a cohesive look to them. Oh, everyone's falling over.
please stay. Um, they can stand up on their own. Um, I just like haven't taken the time to balance them properly, but they can stand up. You just have to balance them right because their hair does like obviously have a weight to it. Um, but yeah, their hair is really nice, soft quality for all the hair flare dolls. Um, these guys came out in like 2004, 2005, 2006, that kind of era. And so um, I feel like MGA was using a really nice quality of doll hair at that time. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Saran or something else, but it's definitely very nice and soft. Um, I haven't boil washed any of these girls hair and it's still very nice but I bet if I did want to boil wash it it would come out even nicer I just don't want to take out like their factory um hairstyles yet I don't know if I want to ever do that um but yeah I love the streaks in all their hair sorry this is becoming a Yasmin review sorry Yasmin I'll, I'll chat with you later there is already a video up on my channel about Yasmin if you want to see more about her but yeah these guys are so cute and I love how they look together. Um, they have kind of a paler skin tone than the other Bratz twins that I have. They're paler than, um, what is it? No, um, they're paler than, oh, Roxy and Phoebe. Um, but um, they still look really cute. I also feel like these guys kind of look like the hair flare version of Roxy and Phoebe. I know they're different, but they give me like that same like vibes. And that's also why I love having these two, because it's like how like Yasmin comes out is like normal Yasmin and Yasmin is hair flare. It's like, this is normal, you know, Roxy and Phoebe. And they kind of remind me of what Roxy and Phoebe would be if they had hair flare additions as babies. Um, unfortunately, these guys never came out as hair flare. But yeah, I think they're so cute. Um, these guys are a little bit paler in skin tone than um, Roxy and Phoebe. I'll just hold up Roxy so you can kind of see. Like, this is like more... Um, She's got more of like a slight tan compared to these guys. These guys are quite pale in comparison. Um, I'm not sure if this is the palest skin tone brats do, but um, yeah, here's a skin tone comparison. I'll put in a, where's Yasmin? I'll put in Yasmin as well. And you can have like a full brats skin tone comparison of all my babies. Oops. Well, you get the vibe. Those are all the different skin tones I have, like of the, lead, blah, 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 of the lighter end of the scale. Obviously, who wouldn't love to have a Sasha or especially a Felicia as well? Felicia as a big Bratz baby is definitely one of my Grail dolls. But um, yeah, those guys are kind of harder to come by. Sasha's not as hard to come by, but as we all know, Felicia is... Mm, she's outside the budget. So yeah, these are the dolls I have and I love them very much. Anyway, yeah, these guys, I'm so stoked to have them. Wanted them for ages, had always lost always lusted after them and now I have them. I'm so happy with them and I think they're really cute. I forgot to include that they also come with one of those little hair flare hairbrushes, which just look like this. Um, they have the little, like, it's like a little safety pin design. It's like a metallic hairbrush um, with black bristles. Um, most of the hair flare dolls come with this just so that you can brush their hair and it does work. So it's not a bad brush. Also, I thought I'd throw in my Bratz Babies wish list because I'd like to manifest these ladies to come into my life. First of all, it's Bratz Babies, Big Babies Yasmin, and also Big Babies Felicia, but I haven't seen them at a price that I can afford yet. Um, also, the normal size hair flare baby Yasmin that's a nurse, just because I'm a nursing student and I just think, like, we'd be besties. Um, yeah. She comes in different versions, but she's also really hard to find. So yeah, that is everything I really have to say about these guys. Sorry, I just said that I love them and they're cute like a thousand times. It's just, I really do love them and they're really so cute. Bratz Babies are probably my favorite Bratz line just because like, I really feel like they're very like sturdy. I know that's like a weird thing, but like they are like really like a solid vinyl. They were really well made when MGA was making these dolls. They were like really quality. And um, I really wanted these guys as a child. So they're also like childhood grails of mine. Um, so yeah, I'm just really attracted to the Bratz babies and they're one of my favorite doll lines, um, especially from Bratz. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about them. So I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave any comments you'd like to share in the comment section down below. Um, I'm kind of dressed up as Roxy today. Shout out to my girl, Roxy. She's a fashion icon. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. I upload very frequently and I have some other Bratz videos up on my channel if that's something you're interested in or I have like topics that are really random and not related to brats at all if you'd like to see other stuff makeup cheerleading i don't know just random stuff about my life i upload all the time so subscribe if you'd like to see that turn on post notifications if you want to be notified each time i upload and that's all the things i'll catch you next time bye